All right, so uh, <clears throat> I've got this tea strainer reassembled with new gaskets, and uh, it's all free of corrosion. It's clear. Um, the glass is clear. Uh, one thing I was going to mention I forgot to is uh, you can use that muriatic acid to clean this glass. This uh, I guess this is like a polycarbonate plastic or something, but that muriatic acid won't really hurt it, and it doesn't take but just a second to clean it. You can use toilet bowl cleaner, like I said. That's just a, gen, uh, a little more gentle on it. But either one will clean this glass back to almost new. Uh, I also ran the sea strainer, the basket itself, through it. And you can see there's no rust. It's 100% clean. It almost looks brand new. Um, these are the old gaskets that came out of it. And I've kind of saved them. And again, they're the uh, cork gaskets. So this would be a brand new one, what it would look like. And this is for the lid, which I have right here. And it would sit right on there. And that's all that seals these uh, sea strainers up. And you can see mine was dripping uh, seawater in the bilge. It was because the gaskets were gone. I mean, it just wasn't a good seal. They're dry rotted and old, probably several years old. I think this is either the old lid gasket probably. Uh, but you can see they literally just break apart in my hand. Uh, this one here, they had a, I guess it was like a sensor of some kind, maybe for temperature or water flow or something. And I took it out because it wasn't in service anyways. I found where they just cut the wires on top of it. And I'm going to drill this out bigger and uh, tap it and put a fresh water flush just like my other uh, strainer on the uh, starboard motor, motor has now. And I'll, I'll do another quick video with that once it's installed. Um, the basket, I did make the repair on the... Uh, basket itself so if you remember one of these was broken off and there it is right there i just took a stainless steel welding rod a little tiny one and just kind of made a small weld puddle enough to burn through the basket and weld it back to itself like it's supposed to be it doesn't really have to be pretty as long as it holds and of course there's the uh Perco insignia and then that dimple right there in the middle it's important to note that when you stick your uh, sorry strainer is trying to roll away when you stick your strainer back in there that that dimple needs to fit over the the dimple needs to fit over the nipple <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do and of course there's the inside looks really good really clean um, so we'll go ahead and slide that back in and line that dimple up. And you'll see it uh, once you get it on there, see how it sits down all the way? You want to make sure when you reinstall your basket that you do that. Otherwise, your, your lid won't clear. And that's probably why this is bent. They probably didn't have that seated right and just hit on that. Uh, handle to beat it down and force the lid on so that was an improper installation at some point in time so pay attention to that when you put your basket back in your strainer if your strainer has you may not have this kind of strainer but if you do um, and then lastly I'm not going to put this together these uh, completely and install it this uh, swivel lid pin here is bent you can see it's twisted and it actually has a crack in it so i ordered this piece and i have to drive that pin out remove this and drive and uh set the new one in and drive the new pin in and it also uh you can see it looks like they this is probably what caused the problem they this may not even be the correct wing nut this looks like something that came off of a battery uh terminal this is what the factory uh, wing nut should look like 
So it does look like it's a slightly different size there. And that may be why they twisted that, that one stud. So the new stud comes with the new hardware. So it'll be put back like factory. And, uh, and then also I have these to show. Uh, th these are those rubber neoprene gasket uh, sets that I'm telling you about that you have to know the difference on whether you have the cork or the rubber. Um, I haven't seen that mentioned in any YouTube video yet on C strainers. So I'm bringing that up. And just to so you know, if you look at these part numbers on these two kits, this is also for a 493. I believe this one fits my generator stringer, but uh, 0493D. And then right here, these last four, 999M. And this is a 799R for rubber. So I guess that's what the R stands for. So real similar part numbers. So you don't want to just walk in and say, oh, well, I have a 0493500. It may not have... Uh, these cork gaskets it may take the rubber gasket so at least pull your lid off and see what you got um, before you order or purchase a gasket kit so you don't get it apart and then realize oh man I got a the incorrect gaskets so that's the other important part that I wanted to bring up and of course my drain oh oh the other thing I wanted to mention too is uh, the way I've assembled this when this sits in my bilge in the engine room i've assembled it so that the tag faces the alleyway and my drain faces the alleyway that way it's easy for me to get to the drain and if i crawl in here and need to look at this tag or i have a mechanic that ever needs to see this tag or maybe a marine surveyor the tag is facing towards the alleyway where they can see what you got so that's pretty much it. It's just about ready to go back. Um, I did soak everything in radic acid, even these nuts and washers. And you can see it kind of gives some of these parts a real coppery uh, gleam to them. If you want to get rid of that coppery gleam, see how this looks kind of brass more all of a sudden, but down here it looks like copper. That's because I took this rag and put a little bit of flitz polish on it and just rubbed it up and down by hand to show you and that'll get rid of that coppery gleam and bring it back to more of a brass finish you can do the whole thing if you're trying to do a showboat or something you can even get one of those mcguire's balls on a drill and go to town and shine this thing up to where it'll look like a brand new uh strainer and that's kind of neat especially if you have an older boat um but anyways, I hope all that information helped. I think that's about all I got. Uh, I, like I said, I'm just waiting on this uh, part here and I need to go ahead and drill and tap this lid and mount my freshwater flush. Um, but, but other than that, this sea strainer's done. So I uh, hope this helps.